page 42 what can I share now there is a piece over on page 43 for day is done a simple little piece it shouldn't cause you any problems I'm not going to cover the piece because they're not really doing anything new so if they want you to draw in slurs and stuff like that you can do that on your own on this page they are introducing the slur symbol it might look familiar because it's identical to the tie symbol to tie two notes together the difference here is that the slur can be two or more notes any number of notes and they have to be on different pitches it simply means connect the notes legato means play connected the note. there are no silence in between the notes all right and look at the first line on this piece in the left hand you have that great big long thing over the whole line that means that whole thing is you're just going to connect all those notes no silence between them at all well that may cause a couple questions uh, so let's clarify this if the slurred line wasn't there all right you'd play it the same you'd still connect the notes so big deal what's it for well I'm glad you asked there's a couple things going on one is a, a performer can do anything in the music they want to do their musical taste you know their interpretation as long as they don't violate what's written on the page so if you have a bunch of notes like this first line here without a slur then as a performer I could do anything there I want I, I could use other articulation I could use short notes if I want to it doesn't violate what's written I'm just interpreting it different by putting in the slur that tells them, the performer, no, 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 you play them connected. You don't play them any other way. They have to be connected. Okay. The other thing is that it causes it to be like a phrase. A fr see, a phrase is like a musical sentence. We talk in sentences, and then we have a slight pause or a break or something between the sentence while we take a breath, and then we go on, sort of. Well, in music, we have musical sentences where we play along and then we have a little bit of take a breath and then we play some more, right? Putting in phrases like they've done here tells us to put a little bit of silence in between each phrase. If the phrases weren't there, we would know to do that. Uh, for instance, the last note in the second line, let's go to the second line, the last measure there, that ends a phrase, let's see. Then the next note, you know, the first note of the third line, the E in the right hand, that starts a new phrase. Well, without the phrases there, I could connect those two notes. Right? No silence between them. But with the phrases here the way they are, I need a little bit of silence between the two notes. So I'm going to cut this, the last note, a little bit short just so I get that silence I'm going to lift up on it and right after that I'm going to go down on the next note so a little bit of silence so it's like one two three so there's just a it's like a taking a breath right in there now we do that between the phrases I'll get more into this as we get this is this is just a simple little piece where every phrase happens to be a full line I'll, I'll talk more about this a little later on in the book now this piece doesn't really have anything new in it except the phrase, the legato thing. So all the same stuff I've been harping about still applies. Uh, bring out the melody. The left hand has the first two lines, the right hand has the last two lines. It's a 3-4 time. It starts out MF, medium loud. In the third line it goes to P for soft. Now we're talking about the melody. right? The chords you have are just the one chord and the five seven chord. Have they talked one chord of five seven? No, it's a C chord and a G seven chord, just like you've had before. Uh, at the end, the last two measures, there's a note there slower. Uh, so they want you to go a little slower. 
Now when I'm playing with a metronome, I can't do that. I have to stay with a metronome, so I'm going to ignore slower when we play it together, and we're just going to keep going. So, let's try this out. I'll give us three counts, and then we'll play it. Hands are in C position. One, ready, go. Three off. 